Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, thanks for coming back again. If you just came over from the Ulta haul video, uh, thanks for coming back and seeing the Sephora part. So let's get started. Uh, hi friends. So I just really wanted to hop on here really quick because um, I wanted to let you know about this really cool sale Sephora's having. This, uh, I'm going to add this into my last Sephora haul video that I haven't put up yet. Just so, I just want to let you guys know Sephora's running a really great sale right now for their Beauty Insiders. If you um, are a Beauty Insider or a VIB or a VIB Rouge, you can get either $15 off, $20 off, or $25 off a purchase of $50 or more. Um, so that's a really great deal, um, and I definitely recommend everybody ch check it out, and I did too. I'm a, I am obviously a Rouge, as if you can tell from my other haul from last time around. So I got the $25 off, and I only spent a little bit over 50 so I thought that was an amazing deal. Sephora never has great deals like this. I want to show you what I picked up. I only have a few things here, because um, I only spent, you know, enough to qualify the sale. Here's my little Sephora box right here. Uh, I ordered it online. Uh, first thing I picked up was... Whoa! These fresh products. I it was a little fresh gift set. It has the um, uh, the cleanser, the vitamin nectar mask, and the U Lotus Youth Preserve face cream. I love um, I love Fresh's products. I love their this cleanser, and I love um, their face cream. And I've been really interested in getting a little mask. Um, and I actually thought I was gonna buy this for a family member for Christmas. It, I thought it was going to come in a cute box, but it didn't, like, because I ordered it online. It came in this weird bag. Yeah, these are really great products, and I think I'll keep these for myself, because this was a... I, th I basically get, got this for free. I think it cost only 26 bucks. You know, $25 off. I only paid $1 for this. So I think I might keep this one and then go back um, and get uh, the gift set I wanted for my family member. I also picked up this amazing uh, ColourPop... A lip trio. There's like, I don't know, two two satin lips in here, and one um, a gloss in here. So as you guys know, so ColourPop is coming to Sephora. And in the store that I work in, they only have the um, one of the glitter palettes up right now. But this was uh, online, so I picked this up online, and I'm so excited. And I also ordered uh, the rose gold Farsali oil. Um, but because of how crazy shipping is this time of year, that's not coming until Monday. So um, I decided to shoot this with, even without it because I wanted to get this up for you um, before that sale ends. This video up for you before that sale ends. And that you have until December 13th, 2017 to get that uh, awesome dollars or 15 20 or $25 off of purchase of 50 I also got some perks. Now, this is a 500 point perk from Sephora that I picked up. Now, this is so cool. It's Kat Von D. It's got a setting powder, a, an eyeliner, a little mirror, two of her perfume samples, and a liquid lip in the color Nosferatu. And I decided to wear that color on my lips to, today. It's like a beautiful deep red. It's a little bit... I thought it would have a blue undertone, but it doesn't. It's a, it's a very nice classic deep red. and I, and it was one of the few liquid lips I didn't have from her collection, so I wanted to... I basically got this, picked up this perk just for that lip. And, you know, I, I'm thinking I might give away um, the setting powder to, like, a family member for Christmas. So it was a little stocking stuffer. I also picked up another 500 per point perk. This is our, our little set from Caviar, or Alterna. And it's there, and it comes with their caviar moisture conditioner um, and shampoo. I've I've used I had a couple of these in my gratis once at Sephora, and I used them all up, and I thought they were great. I the, it really did make my hair shiny and soft and moisturized, and it was awesome. And also, and I was mostly got it for this CC cream, the ten in one CC cream. I've really been interested in trying that, and I've tried this. Uh, I have a full size of this smoothing Hydra Jelly Nourishing Hair Perfector, um, but I might either, you know, throw that into my giveaways or give it to a family member, um, this little small one. But yeah, another 500 point perk. 
and I also got a couple samples I order. You know, every time you order online, you get three, you get to pick three samples. I got um, a, a Cosmetics CC Cream sample. I'm probably going to add this to one of my giveaways because I, I, every time I order online somewhere and I get free samples, I always get this. Um, so I've got plenty of samples. I don't need any more. And um, I actually didn't even order the sample. You know, you're supposed to be able to pick your own samples. The only one that I ordered that I actually got was this one. Um, it's a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation Sample Little Kit, and it's got four different colors in here. Um, so I'm actually happy that I at least got this one that I picked, because um, uh, the other ones I picked I did not get in here. Um, and the last sample I did get, it, they, I think they just filled it in um, because they didn't have the samples uh, that I picked. but. This is a uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, uh, eye, eyeshadow primer. Um, I've actually tried this before, and it's a nice primer, so um, I, I don't know. I might keep it, try it again, because it's been a while since I've tried it, or I might put it in a giveaway. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got during the uh, 25 off of 50 sale. And uh, please continue watching and check out all the rest of the stuff I got in earlier sales. Um, and also some gratis I picked up too. So, um, yeah, there's that info now. See you, bye! Um, I'm glad that I waited to shoot the Sephora uh, part of my haul until after I came home from work because I actually was lucky enough to pick up some gratis while I was at work today. So um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got at gratis. Now, I'm actually a part-time uh, employee, like I'm like a seasonal, so I don't get a ton of gratis. But uh, the reason I got a little bit of gratis is because the other today, or no, yesterday, we had a big holiday party where we did a gratis swap. So I got to, you know, some some people were simply giving their stuff away. I brought some stuff over to gratis swap with. But um, anybody was too interested in my stuff. But I was able to go home with a couple of new things, so I'm super excited for that. So I'm ready. I'm so excited to show you. I got my gratis. So the first thing that I got in the bag is so exciting. Um, it's the Dior Air Flash CC Primer. I recently just picked up with my own money the Dior Air Flash in the a foundation in the shade 300 I'm actually wearing on my face today al along with this primer and it's such I'm loving it so far I've only used it like twice but I'm loving it so much so far it like it just feels so lightweight it doesn't like look cakey even if you spray on a ton it wears down really beautifully and it looks so natural I get some I've been getting so many compliments on my foundation uh, the, the few times I've worn it, so that was really exciting. And I also picked up a Dior Air Flash in shade 100. Um, the 300 is a tiny bit dark on me. Oh, I'm excited to have the 100 to mix with it to get my perfect shade, so that's so exciting. These are so expensive, so to get them in gratis is like so happy, so happy. Um, it's what makes working at Sephora worth it. <laughs> Next thing in the bag is uh, this Clinique 2-in-1 Pepstar Exfoliating Cleanser. I actually used it the other day. I picked, I got to choose this, and this is great because I don't have a lot of like rubby cleansers. I only have like chemical peel type of cleansers. I'm excited to have one of these um, exfoliators that you can just rub on your face, and it. I only used it once, I used it yesterday, and it, I think it's good, like, it made my skin, like, perfectly smooth and great, um, and it didn't dry my skin out, I mean, I, of course, I slathered on all the moisturizer after, because I've been doing that a lot lately, because it's, uh, it's dry, it's November, um, but yeah, liking this product so far. Somebody gave me their um, old Smashbox palette. I'm so excited to get this because uh, I never got one of these. I was interested in buying them, but I couldn't justify buying them. So um, it's just the one with the warm colors. They're so pretty, and it's got like a cool little holographic design on the fronts. So I love warm colors. So this is super exciting. Another thing is this uh, Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor. I believe this is like an exfoliator to... Never used... Oh, it's an exfoliating clay mask. Okay. 
So I've never used anything like this. This is going to be interesting to check out for sure. Uh, here's another cleanser that uh, um, I've heard great things about. This is the Eve Long cleanser. Um, it, you're supposed to kind of like, it's, it's a big crazy process to use this, but it's supposed to give you the most like deep clean of the pores. Um, so I'm excited to try that out. This is the Eve Long cleanser. Full size product. This is, this seems to be really cool. I'm really excited to try this. This is a hair and body dry finishing spray, finishing oil. Um, I'm super excited to try this just because, uh, you know, I've been trying to wash my hair less lately. I'm trying to just wash it like every four or five days or so. Or so. And like by day three or four, a lot of the time my ends start to feel really parched. So I'm interested in getting like a nice dry oil to like saturate the ends a little bit so they're not all like start like straw feeling. So that's exciting to try that. I love tart blushes and I got myself this little um, tart blush in the shade Peaceful. Oh, this looks like it got used, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'll just spray it with my Beauty So Clean. Um, it's like a peachy color. It's a little bit shimmery. It's almost like uh, Nars Orgasm, but like less pink, more peach. The last full... S oh, actually I got a couple more full-size products in here. Um, this is the Dr. Brandt Needles No More 3D Pore Filler Mask. 3D Filler Mask. Um, I don't have a ton of wrinkles, but I do have these crazy wrinkles up on my forehead because I get like... I make crazy expressions um, and like my foundation often will just settle into those lines and it looks terrible but uh, I've been using lots of different things lately and I think it it's improving and uh, yeah it'd be interesting to try this too and I, it'd be fun to use it with my mom too little mask little mask uh, situation I thought that this would be a NARS radiant creamy concealer but it's not I believe it's like a hot like a liquid highlighter uh, it's in the same packaging as the concealers, but it's the highlighter in the shade Spring Break. It's a little bit shimmery and um, peachy looking. And I think the last part of a uh, piece of gratis that I picked up was this um, Anastasia Brow uh, Pomade, Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. Um, I think I actually have a little bit left because um, I use some in my freelance kit. I don't usually use dark brown, um, not unless my hair is really dark, but uh, yeah, it's great to have in your freelance kit. Sometimes free when you freelance, people, your clients will want like a really dramatic brow, so dip brow is like the best uh, product to use to get a nice full dramatic brow. Now, let's move on to stuff that I actually bought. Um, soon after I got, I did my last big Sephora haul, I learned. I thought I was gonna be done uh, hauling last after the last time I, I did the Sephora haul, but like a week later, um, Sephora did the, a weekly wow on all buxom gla uh, glosses, like all of them, and it was ten dollars a piece, and then you could use your discount on top. So that was an insanely amazing deal. So I came in on Saturday on the day that I wasn't working to pick some up, and they were all sold out. Like, all the colors that I wanted were sold out. There's only, like, a few left because I think people realize what a great deal that was. But I was lucky enough to grab the very last White Russian lip gloss. <laughs> and everybody knows that this is, like, such a cult favorite lip gloss. Um, so I'm so excited to have had the, the last one. Um, and I paid about $7.50 for this. And... As I paid for this, I had reached Rouge status for 2018. Woohoo! So I got a free like VIB Rouge brush. Um, it's a blush brush, and I used it a couple times, and it's actually really nice. Like at first, I thought it'd be uh, like too dense, but depending on what kind of blush application you're looking for, that might be the perfect brush to use um, if you want to like do a slightly darker blush. So uh, I really like this brush, so excited to get my VIB Rouge status and I think it's so funny that like 
I only needed to spend like seven more dollars to reach it. As the weeks went on and I worked more and more shifts and ops doing shipment and stuff, I kept learning about cool new stuff at Sephora. So I kept just picking stuff up and also other cool deals that were happening. Like yesterday we had three times the points on top of your discount and everything. So um, there's many things. And I also learned recently that like my discount for Anastasia products at Nigel's and Amy's is 30% and I was all, and I was also getting 30% off um, at Sephora. So I figured I'll spend that money at Sephora, get my points, and also help the store reach their sales goals too. So, um, I picked up a couple of Anastasia things including this three liquid lip lipstick set. I thought this was pretty cool because it was all nude colors and like this nice brown. So that was really fun. Anastasia liquid lips are really great for fle freelancing too, just because, um, I don't know, they're just let, they last forever, you know? They're great. And everybody knows, knows it, knows the name Anastasia, so. The other day I saw somebody at work wearing like a metallic red lip and it was like the most beautiful uh, holiday look that I think I've ever seen. So I wanted, I wanted it. I wanted a metallic red lip. So, and I saw these Smashbox minis. These are all like their liquid lips that are metallic and they're, and they're the, the minis. And I've tried these on before and I think out of any like metallic lip formula I've ever tried, I like the Smashbox one the best. So I was excited to get the little minis and I love these colors. There's like a rose gold, a red, and a berry. So that's really exciting. And I thought that I was gonna skip on this purchase, but then I thought about getting the Anastasia Prism palette, and then I watched a lot of reviews comparing the the Prism palette to the Subculture palette, and I finally decided to um, pick up the Subculture palette. I thought I was gonna skip on this one because, you know, when it first came out, there were so many bad reviews of, on it, and you know, the more I like played, like swatched it, and learned about it. From what I understand, a lot of the problem with this was that people just didn't understand the formula. They were expecting the uh, Modern Renaissance formula and then they got this, which is super pressed pigment formula. It's much more intense. But, you know, that doesn't scare me. Like, I feel like... Uh, there, I've had other palettes that other people have hated, like, for instance, the, uh, the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette, the Rose Gold Textured palette, and a lot of people hated that palette, but I thought it was... You know, it was a little bit challenging to work with, but I still, still thought it was beautiful and I put together some great looks with it. And I, you know, I weighed the pros and cons of this palette and there's seriously a lot of shades in here that I've never, oh, that I don't have in anywhere else in my collection. Really unique shades in there. And I swatched it, it's very pigmented, so I know that like, I'll have to be very careful not to uh, mix the colors in such a way that it gets like muddy. Um, but I'm prepared for the challenge and I'm prepared to do some really different looks with this. So I'm excited to check that guy out. I also picked up a few more things from Anastasia. Um, I decided to pick up a few of these concealer base pens for brows. They're the Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Primer and Color Corrector pencils. So and I got them in the colors Base 1, Base 2, and Base 3. Uh, and you know, I want to be able to have the means to quickly carve out bra brows for clients um, and I thought these brow pencils would be the perfect thing I would need for my kit to just knock that, th knock that out for clients, have, give them that dramatic sculpted brow that's popular on good Instagram, if that's what they want. If they ask for that, I'll be able to do that for them. With these cool little eyeshadow primer pencils. <laughs> Next thing in the ba bag is my very most favoritest favorite um, lip liner of all time. This is Marc Jacobs lip liner in Primrose and I often will just wear this whole pencil all over my lips. I've gotten like sample size of them several times. Um, like I've gotten two like sample size of them but they break and they I've used them all up the twice so I decided to finally get it a full size and there she is she's the Marc Jacobs Primrose 
and she's um like I just I don't know it's my favorite nude my favorite nude liner can you see yeah and so and it's very smooth there it is right now it's a little bit dark and it's very smooth and you can wear it all over the lips too and I love it I it's it's matte but not too matte it's comfortable to wear it's a beautiful color it's really flattering on me it's one of my favorite nudes um, and love it I'm excited to have it in the collection for realsies this is another little holiday mini um, this is the NARS Man Ray uh, love triangle and this is the one with the mini deep throat and the Barbara lipstick in it um, I've been wanting to try the deep throat uh, blush forever but I just can't bu justify buying a full-size blush because it's just like I'll never use it all it will go bad before I use it all so I've decided when I saw this I'm just like oh yeah I get to try the uh, the deep throat um, blush in the mini size hooray so excited to try that I l it's a really pretty color and it's just like a little mini and uh, comes with a little mini lipstick as well so that's exciting <laughs> next thing in the bag is um, I got a couple of the smaller um, NARS radiant creamy concealers I got them in the beauty and the fly size the travel size um, I have a ton of concealers in my kit but I've really have been wanting to try these and use these in my kit as well because I've had a number, well not a number, but I've worked on a couple of people who the concealers that I had in in my kit was just not sticking to their under eyes because they had just oily under eyes and they just would not stay. Um, and one of them told me that the only concealer she's ever gotten to work under her eyes were the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. So I pick. So hopefully now that I have these guys, I got them in the shades vanilla, custard, and um, hazelnut. Those were the three that were available in the Beauty and the Fly size. Hopefully I will be able to, you know, conceal anybody's under eye, no matter what. Like, because now I have the Nars, I have Makeup Forever, I have Touche Claw, and I have the uh, Shape Tape concealers in my kit. So. And I have like a bunch of colors to match anybody. And I also have the RCMA, RCMA palettes with the concealer formula in them. And I also have a Temp 2 concealer wheel. <laughs> I have a lot of concealers. So I'm definitely never gonna like need any more. So I'm excited. Here's another little set that I just got suckered, suckered into buying. It's just a tiny little um, Tarte Wide Awake set it comes with like some cooling eye patches uh tart lights cam lights camera lashes mascara which i've been dying to try it's like i think one of the only mascaras in sephora that i've been wanting to try that i haven't tried yet uh, i and i've heard nothing but great things about it and it, there's also a tiny maracuya c brightener eye treatment like a little eye cream in it too um, and then all this was 12 bucks, and then I got my dif discount on top of it, so I thought this was a great deal. I got this, all this for under 10 bucks, and I'm excited to try it out. I think this is just a little free sample. This is just the or Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to clear pores. Um, I don't have a ton of like blackheads or problems, but this is a really popular mask at Sephora, so, I've been, so it was so cool to find this little sample. This was totally free. Um, it wasn't even like a perk. It was just like a free sample. I don't think they have any left, unfortunately, but um, you know, it's always worth asking though. I just ask if they have any samples, little foil samples, because uh, um, I know in my store, like almost every skincare brand has like little foil packets of samples that you can just give out to anybody. So it's worth asking if the, they've got like free samples. And especially, you know, uh, if there's anything in particular that you want to try in skincare, you can always ask for a sample too. Like you, they can you, you can also ask them to make you a sample. They can make you a sample of almost any skincare product. One more thing that I got in the bag here is this like Sephora Collection hand mask. It's like a little winter hands mask. I've used the it's the avocado skincare one, skincare gloves, 
and it's supposed to be nourishing and repairing. I've used the avocado one before, and yeah, in the winter I, had, I get really parched sandpapery hands, so I knew this would come in handy sooner, sooner or later. So I picked up one of those. And the last thing in the bag is, um, same idea, a little Sephora mask, but this one's for lips. Uh, and you know, same thing, my hands get really sandpapery and dried out in the winter instead of my lips. So I decided to pick up a couple little masks to help me out during that super dry and cold winter season. I almost forgot. And then I also picked up a big old perk, too. Um, this is uh, a 500 point perk from Marc Jacobs and it, I thought this was so cool. I'm just, like I thought this was the coolest deal. It comes with a velvet and worn mascara in it, um, uh, a, little, a mini lipstick in Slow Burn, which is one of my favorite colors, um, a mini High Shine Enamored Lip Gloss, and in the shade Sugar Sugar, which is like one of their most popular colors, and it also has a um, little sample size of Marc Jacobs Decadence perfume and a gel liner and this is a cult favorite. I've tried it before, I think it's okay, but um, yeah, it's good to have a little backup and yeah, that was the last thing. Okay friends, so that is it. That was my whole big Sephora haul. I'm hoping that this is going to be it. I'm not gonna buy anything else. Not until... I think my next big haul I'm planning on doing is gonna be IMATS. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go online and buy my tickets for IMATS in New York right now. Um, and that's not until April. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on a nice long four month long no buy. And that's fine because I have so much cool stuff to try and love and um, so yeah just let me know in the comments below what you thought was cool, what you think you're going to pick up too. If there's anything you want a review on, uh, leave that down in the comments below if you want a tutorial on anything. Especially that subculture palette. Uh, I feel like that that's a challenging palette to work with, so if you have it and you want to make it work, that, and if I try to make it work, I can make a tutorial for you guys too. See if you love it and want to keep it forever and up to the challenge and if, it, if it's worth ch the challenge. So thanks again for joining me. Um, hey guys, sorry, my camera just uh, quit and I wanted to make sure I filmed for you a proper goodbye, a proper outro. Um, thanks for watching my Sephora and my Ulta haul. Um, let me know down in the comments what you thought was cool, uh, what your favorite part was, uh, what you think that you might pick up too. And uh, I just wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's just right around the corner. Um, and yeah, thanks so much and have a great holiday, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.